Show of hands. How many people, how many of you were adults when Tron hit in 1982? Yeah. <laughs> By the standards of this audience, I am an old fart. I'm 47. I was 22 when Tron came out, and I was actually working as a mainframe systems programmer. Uh, in the mainframe world, that, that that's not doesn't involve quite as much programming. That's actually the mainframe version of a sysadmin. So when Tron came out, I saw it and thought, hey, neat. People are actually trying to show what goes on inside the computer. Propelled into the digital world of the computer itself. And some of the things they got right, some of the things they got wrong, some of the things I thought they got very laughably wrong. I mean, come on, programs fighting each other. Get real. The initial reaction was along the line of, ah, fat guy in spandex, you should have warned me. And the, there were a lot of people saying that they couldn't believe that I would do something like this. Didn't I obviously know that I look like hell? And the positive attention was from folks who thought, hey, this is neat stuff. Our next guest has turned his love for the 1982 movie Tron into an outfit. And he's become very popular on the internet for doing it. Here he is, Jay Maynard, everybody. <laughs> When I put that page up, I originally developed it to show the lady who helped me with a lot of the design aspects of the costume. Now, I live in Fairmont, Minnesota, so I couldn't just throw it in the car and take it over and show her. And what I was thinking was, okay, maybe some other folks would like to see how I did this. I'm also a leader of an open source project called Hercules, an IBM mainframe emulator that runs on Windows and Linux and Mac OS X. Uh, I'm a ham radio operator and president of a couple of organizations involved with that. Uh, I'm a professional registered parliamentarian, which grew out of my ham radio work. And let's see. Uh, <laughs> Trapped inside an electronic arena where love and escape do not compute. Journey across an electronic scene on cycles made of light.